Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm back again with uh, part two of our little beat repeater effect. Uh, what we've got going on is we've got a nice little beat unit. Okay, that creates our little beat effect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use pad number nine and I'm going to use Kong to actually trigger um, an, an LFO to pan the signal from left to right. So this is going to be our LFO pan on number nine here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually borrow some CV slots from the Spider CV that we already have set up and from the Thor loop CV that we've set up to be our loop slot cycle here. So um, just expand them a little bit and what we're going to do is we are also going to use a subtractor. Hold down your shift key, create the subtractor and what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually initialize everything so everything all the levels are down to zero range is down to zero polyphony is down to one and we're going to start to program this little sucker so flip the rack around hitting using your tab key use the gate out from pad number nine and send that into the cv4 on your combinator um, put the trim knob up to 127 set this to unipolar and then what we're going to do is we are going to go down to our subtractor, use the LFO1, send that through CV2 on the input on our Thor, and take the CV2 and send that out to a split on the uh, spider. And so there's a free split on split B. Then we're going to take one split and we're going to bring that all the way down. Um, until we have our DDL1 delay unit. We're going to set that to pan and we're going to push that pan knob up to 127. We're also going to open up our um, line mixer that we set up for the beat repeater and we're going to use the pan signal here. We're going to put the trim knob up all the way to 127 as well and we're going to send another split out to that pan. Okay. Now what's going to happen, we're also going to have to turn this around going to have to open up your uh, Thor and we're going to have to send CV input 1 to the CV output or sorry send CV out CV in 2 to CV out 2 you don't need to change the amount because we're going to let the pad control the amount and the way we do that is we go up here and on the loop CV device we're going to say that for CV input number 4 we're going to have that target the modulation bus, modulation 2 destination amount, and we're going to have the destination be 0 on the minimum and 100 on the maximum. We're also going, going to go into the subtractor, subtractor 1, and we're going to use the same CV input 4, and we're going to have this affecting your LFO 1 amount. 0 to 127. Okay, so with that set up, what's going to happen, and I'll show this to you by hitting my keyboard, is, um, oh, you're also going to use LFO1, so sync that up, make sure that amount is set to 0, and the rate can be set to whatever you want, but what I would set it to is probably 3, 4, just to give you an idea of what the panning sounds like, and so that you can hear the panning, but you can set this rate to whatever you want. Um, now what's going to happen is when you hit that pad number 9, it's going to control the CV amount that's going to be going out and it's going to also, the CV amount here turns on the LFO essentially and your amount is also going to be affected by pad 9. So as, as hard as you hit pad 9 using your keyboard or using your pad, that's going to control how much of the amount gets input and how much of the panning gets, gets turned on. So if you're just playing playing a simple beat, you're not going to hear any panning. As soon as you hit number 9, you're going to start to hear that panning take effect. And you'll see I hit it at a strength of 81, and the amount is also going to be set to well, about 103, because that's 127. This is based on 100, 0 to 100. This is based on 0 to 127. If you hit it a little softer, you're going to get 36% and the amount is going to be 46. If you really crank it up, you get a full amount of CV. Okay, and just to show you how that works again, up here, 
you've got your um, your loop going through play a different loop hit number nine you'll start here in the pan you let it go it turns off you can hit a little lower and it has a lower effect hit a little higher and you have a full effect or you can play a group of group of loops and you can send the panning through Okay, the other nice thing about it is that when you press the beat repeater and the pan at the same time, so I've got it panning, okay, you can hear that panning sound, the beat repeater also pans, pans along with it, and that's because what you've done is you've set it up to pan both um, the repeater portion and also channel one on the mixer. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can use Kong to create an LFO panning ability using Thor as a pass-through and um, set it all up on, uh, on one pad here. And the nice thing is you still haven't touched any of your knobs or buttons, so you can still set these up to control any parameters you want within the Combinator. Hope that helps you out. And once again, I'm Rob. Uh, come visit me at reason101.net, where I will be making this patch available in the next couple of days. Thanks for listening.